Neil here from No Panic Computing, and today we're talking about phishing scams. Phishing is the theft of your login information for any online account, and it's usually your bank account. However, some other common targets include email, Facebook, eBay, your credit cards, or even your cell phone account. So they can really disguise themselves as any type of company or organization. However, the example we're going to focus on today is of a bank. And basically, how it works is that criminals will send you an email and it will look very much like this one, as if it's coming from a trusted organization such as your bank, and it will have a very urgent message telling you about some problem and you need to verify your account. So it will give you a link and tell you to log in. And if you click the link, it will take you to a website that again looks very official, almost identical to your bank's website. However, it's fake and it's hosted by the criminals. So if you actually log in here and give them your username and password, you're basically handing over your credentials directly to the thieves. And then they can use that information to access your account. So how do you avoid this? Well, there's four easy ways to spot a phishing email. The first thing to note is that banks will never send out an email asking you to verify your account online. And the second thing is to look at the text link. When you put your cursor over the link, a little window appears that shows you the exact URL to where it's directing you to. And if that URL doesn't match the text link, or if the URL doesn't look like an official bank's website, then don't click the link, because it's probably going to take you to a fake website. The third thing to look at is whether the email is addressed directly to you. Phishing emails will usually have a very generic header, such as Dear Valued Customer or Dear Client. So if you don't see your exact full name in the body of the email, just be very cautious. And the fourth thing to note is whether there are any spelling errors. It's very unlikely that a bank would send out an email that has several spelling errors or just very poor grammar. So if you come across one of these emails, it's okay to read it. However, don't click any of the links inside it. And certainly don't fill out any forms if it happens to take you to another web page. All right. So now you know a little bit more about phishing scams, how to identify them so you can avoid them and compute more securely. Thanks.